everybody, today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be talking through my experience at the Evershed Sutherland vacation scheme over the last week. So my vacation scheme finished yesterday, it was from Monday till Friday and I completed it within the Birmingham office and I was within the real estate team. So the scheme was only one week, normally they are about two weeks and in person but because of the circumstances at the moment it was moved online and it was for a shorter amount of time. For anybody who kind of doesn't know what a vacation scheme is, it's pretty much just a week of work experience at a firm and there is quite a long application process. So if you look at some of my previous videos, I talked about firm research and assessment centres and interviews. So all of those things that I did was all in preparation and all part of the application process for this vacation scheme. So I found out that I was going to be taking part in the vacation scheme in March and I've been so so excited and it's come around really quick and the whole week flew by so so fast. I wish I could do it all again. So I will be trying to give kind of a little bit of pointers and advice during this video however I don't know what the outcome is yet so you can get offered a training contract within the firm off the back of a vacation scheme but I won't be finding out for another couple of weeks whether I was successful and will be offered a training contract and I really obviously hope that I will I had the best time there they are my favourite firm and I do think it went really well but of course there is a lot of people there who deserve to be there and there are only a limited number of training contracts that they can kind of offer and I didn't, we didn't have lots of group activities but we did get to meet each other quite a lot and everyone was so lovely and so hard working so I think it's kind of, you, you don't know really whether you will be offered one or not but fingers crossed and I'll be sure to let you know kind of on my Instagram what the outcome is but just keep that in mind I'm filming this video now before I kind of know what the outcome is because I know that a lot of people's vacation schemes will be next week and I kind of don't want to come out with a video too late I think it would be really useful for some of you to kind of know what to expect now so that is why I am filming it a little bit early but of course keep your eyes peeled so my Instagram if you don't know is called study life home and I also have um a highlight on like a story highlight called careers where I have done a Q&A also today um, answering some questions about my vacation scheme experience so that will all be saved onto there and if you're watching this video quite a bit later also check out my Instagram to see whether I was successful or not. So I'm just going to start by talking through the kind of activities that we did during the week and what we were expected to do during the week for anybody who really doesn't know what they're going into. So you are given tasks throughout the week and it is different depending on what firm you're in, of course. So just keep in mind this is for Evershed Sutherland. But the way it worked with this firm specifically is that you are given work by your supervisor and you also have a trainee buddy and other people within the department that you're working in. So we got to choose what department we were going to work in for the week. Ordinarily, if it was a two week vacation scheme, then you would probably work in two different departments, one the first week and one the second. But as ours was only five days, we could only choose one. So I put down three choices. My first was real estate, second was corporate and third was employment. And I did have my first choice. So I was within the real estate team, more specifically within the development team, which is a team working with landlords rather than tenants. So I'm just going to chat through what kind of work you might be given or what you might be expected to do throughout the week. But keep in mind that it is different depending on what firm you're in. So some firms have like assessed group activities and things like that. We didn't really have that. So I'll just talk through what my own personal experience was just to help you out to see what you might um, expect it to do. But also it is different depending on where you are. So you are given real work, it is real work. You might also have some hypothetical tasks and our grad recruitment team also gave us two tasks to work on, kind of one due was one was due on Thursday and one was due on Friday that we were given when we first started and those were pretend made up tasks that were, are marked and the marks will obviously be fed back to the grad recruitment team at the end. But then other than those two tasks, which were quite large, 
you have work given to you within your department by your supervisor and members of the team that you're working in so just kind of whatever work comes your way just try to be enthusiastic about getting more work it is really busy but if you do have a spare the spare time you think you have time to have some more work then definitely ask for some more so i received some from my trainee buddy another trainee within the team so you do a bit of work from a partner and then also a bit from my supervisor it is all real work you are drafting real documents for real clients you are paid for the week because you are working for them so it's it is you you need to obviously do it to a good standard and as best as you can um, because at the end of the day it's going to be sent out to a client but your supervisor checks over anything anyway so of course if there are any mistakes or anything like that then they can change it for you so don't worry too much so i have had a few questions about what's expected of you with the work that is given to you because it is real work is going out to a client are you expected to know exactly what to do and no definitely not um i am i've just finished my second year and everyone there was aware of that they always ask you what point in your career you are at and they really do kind of assess you as well depending on what part of your career you're in because me as a second year student will definitely have a lot less knowledge than an lpc student i was the only um second year student who was on the vacation scheme everyone else was further along so some people were already paralegals at that firm some people already had jobs in other law firms and then quite a few people were kind of just finished or studying their LPC at the moment. So everyone is definitely in different positions but it doesn't put you at a disadvantage. I don't think at all if you are younger or you have less experience like I do because I do really keep it in mind when marking the tasks, especially the grad recruitment task I spoke about but I will go into that in a little bit more detail later on. So definitely don't worry too much about that. You get a lot of guidance. So when you are given a task, for me anyway, I would get a call on Teams and they would talk through what the task is. Also give an explanation of why you were doing that, like why you were filling in that document, why it's important and give background to do with land law and real estate law specifically. If they don't give you that kind of background information, then I would say a top tip is to show that you want to know these things if you don't already know kind of ask oh why is that kind of document you needed things like that because it shows that you're enthusiastic about learning not just getting the work but learning about why that work is important but i was always told that anyway but you are given so much guidance if you have any questions you can ask you can just send a message or organize a call so personally for me how i worked through the tasks was to go through them by myself first and then if i had any questions i had a notebook next to me and some of these documents were very long so i noted down the page and the clause for example of where i had a question i was unsure about something all on one page so i went through the whole thing and then i organized a call at the end to go through it with my supervisor or whoever gave me the task to ask them those questions and then when they come it was maybe only like 10 minutes and then I'd say okay great thank you so much then I'd finish it off and send it over to them and I did that with every single task um, sometimes after I'd had that phone call I didn't want to kind of organize another one just for one extra question I'd just send a message over but don't be scared about that because they want you to ask questions they want you to learn I think if you kind of don't ask any questions go for it and then get it wrong they'll probably wonder why didn't they just ask so <laughs> definitely show that you know if you need help you need to communicate that because it is really important to have communication skills but at the same time i didn't want to bombard anyone with lots of questions which is why i always noted them down and made sure i'd read the whole document first and then organized a call otherwise i think i would have been asking questions every five minutes so that is a tip I personally think that was a good way to work through it and it just allowed me to get the task done a lot faster. So we were also given some tasks by Grab Recruitment as I mentioned. These were a lot longer than the ones that I was given by my supervisor and also they were from different practice areas or different departments, the kind of work that you'd have. So you, I wasn't familiar with 
that work and you can ask your trainee buddy for help or some guidance with some of it but really as it was from a different department they probably won't know so you're very much I think it's very much testing your initiative and whether you can figure out how to do things without help which I think was the most challenging thing for me was kind of doing it doing the work and not knowing whether it was correct or not it was very much like I just need to use my common sense try as hard as I can and then see what the feedback is when I kind of had my reflections at the end which I'll talk about at the moment they did ask what the most challenging part was and I just said that because I love to communicate with people and when before I kind of send work off that may be going to a client I like to just have a chat through any questions that I have and obviously we weren't able to do that with those tasks so I think that was the most challenging part but we did get to so you hand it in and then you get to organize a call with the marker who kind of goes through it with you and chats through what you did right what you did wrong and again that marker takes into account what position you were in and I had such a lovely call with my marker and I actually did really well in the task so it was such a relief because I think that was the biggest thing I was worried about again as you don't get that help that you would normally get it very much is like oh I don't know how I've done with this but I, I had done really well and he was really impressed so don't worry too much I think it's so easy for me to say now during the week I was definitely quite worried but on reflection and just telling you like just believe in yourself like if you think this is how to do it a lot of it is very common sense with these kind of tasks because I don't expect you to know everything you can also look up things on the internet to try and help you as well with how to fill in certain documents and they did give us some information about how to fill in these documents so you're not completely left on your own you do have some information just use all of that and try not to worry too much. So I'll kind of go quickly through day by day because it might make you kind of see how it was structured a little bit better. So I have my notebook here where throughout the week I added each of the things that I did in the day and then commented on kind of what I learned and things. That is a really good tip I would say to keep kind of like a diary of each of the things that you do and always note down what your favourite thing was about that task, what you learnt about that task, what you found challenging about that task. Some vacation schemes have an interview, a separate interview for um, the training contract. We didn't have that within our vacation scheme. You are very much assessed throughout and then you have a reflections at the end with your supervisor and your partner. And then they just ask you some structured questions about things like what was challenging, what was your favourite part? Those kind of questions where they just really wanted to know about how you found the week really. And that was kind of the only part of it that was seen like an interview, but it was still very casual. So that this, by noting this down, it's really helpful for that. And then also for the future as well. So you know what you've done. So on the first day, we started obviously with an introduction, getting to meet everybody. This was all kind of through Zoom and Teams. And then we had a talk about diversity and inclusion, which I really, really enjoyed. I always have the opportunity to ask questions at the end. But then I got to meet my supervisor, my trainee buddy. We also had a lunch session where you got to talk to trainees whilst eating your lunch. I think everyone found this quite challenging with eating whilst on camera. As the week goes on, I think you get a bit more used to it, but definitely during the first couple of days, people did say when we all talked to each other and um, the vacation schemers talked to each other that, oh my gosh, I haven't eaten all day. I've been so busy. So if, it, if there is a lunch session where you kind of network, just eat like I did. <laughs> I tried to anyway. I was the only person eating during that first one. I think I was kind of having a look, winching away in a little bit of cucumber. But just eat because you you need that energy throughout the week, you really do. But I think as it goes any as the week goes on, you become more confident with eating on camera anyway. But that was really nice because we got to ask lots of questions to the different trainees. Then I was given some work. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the work it is because of course it's confidential, the clients are confidential. But I was given my first two pieces of work from within the department, which was drafting some um, different documents. And they kind of talked talked through it with me and really helped me with it, especially because it's my first couple of pieces of work. They were really, really helped with that. And I think I picked it up really quickly. And then I had a virtual coffee with another member of the team. 
this is something that you should really try and set up throughout the week to network with people within the team and then also outside of the team i would say something i really wish that i could have done even more but unfortunately it was so packed full that there was sometimes so very little time to fit it in so i at least had one virtual coffee a day with someone that i wasn't working directly with but definitely try if there's any other departments you're interested in chatting to people from different departments across the firm and then also chatting to grad recruitment as well again i wish i had talked even more to grad recruitment because they are so so lovely and i have met them before and chatted to them before but definitely organize a call with them if you can that is something that i would have loved to have fit in if i had the chance to fit that in because of course at the end of the day grad recruitment are the people who are going to choose whether you are offered a training contract or not so i had a nice call with someone just chat about ask them about their about their background how they got into the firm why they're in the firm what they specifically do and then a way that you can prepare is to kind of look in the news about what's going on at the moment and then you could ask them questions about oh how has this for example impacted your work a lot of the questions of course by a lot of people is always how has coronavirus affected the work have you had more work less work that kind of thing and then i was given another task and i was just working on all of those throughout the rest of the day and in the evening and then they were kind of due in the next day so i was working on those and trying to get my head around them during the first day so it was really packed full and i had plenty to do and then the second day i worked on finishing those off in the morning and handed them in and then we had a department talk which again, as I said, you have one every day. So that um, that one was a real estate talk just about what they do. And then another virtual coffee, getting to meet more people. And then I was given another piece of work. And then I also attended a call between lots of different people who work within the department about um, a, a specific client and different thing that was going on in them and I just got to sit there and kind of listen to it and I absolutely loved attending these kind of talks because you are given tasks and then kind of let loose to go and work on them by yourself and then you have catch-ups about them but it's really nice to kind of get to sit there and see how people who've worked there for years and years talk to each other obviously they know ex they know what they're talking about so it's really interesting to kind of get to sit there and listen to everyone talk about the law that you are really interested in see how these different kinds of meetings work so i really loved um attending that meeting and again more work just working on work throughout the day and then on the evening we attended kind of a social and this, well, it was a social and this was a virtual escape room, which was so, so much fun. And that is just with the trainees. You go into little um, breakout rooms and then you kind of work on an escape room that you're given a link to. And my team was actually the only team who managed to escape <laughs> the escape room. So I think we were all really happy about that. And, you know, don't think we're definitely not assessed on that. I don't think at all, if only. <laughs> But it was so much fun because you get to know people even more and I got to know whether the vacation scheme is even more and some of the trainees even more and it was just so, so fun. Wednesday, I hope this isn't too boring, but I think hopefully it's nice to kind of see how the days are structured. Again, another department talk um, first thing in the morning and I've had some more tasks to do, some really, really interesting ones where I was, this, some of my favourite tasks were given to me on Wednesday where I really had to use my land law knowledge as well. And this is more of a hypothetical task that I was given by my supervisor. So this one was the only one that wasn't going out to a client where I had to do a little bit of research so he could see how I summarise research and then also answer some questions. Um, it's kind of like a title research task. If anyone has done land law, you know, about the land register and the land registry, and kind of finding out what easements, restrictive covenants affected a piece of land and whether they had access to a road and access to water. And I had to look at loads of documents, kind of look at loads of maps and piece them together. It was really hard work, it was really challenging. And I was quite worried that I hadn't got the right things and grasped the right things. So again, I worked through the whole task contacted my supervisor, had a call and it turns out that he was really, really impressed with everything that I'd done and I'd spotted some things I guess he didn't expect me to spot. So that was 
it's so lovely and I really enjoyed that and it was nice that he did throw in kind of a hypothetical task in there just for me to kind of see what like that wasn't that work wasn't available for me to do that week but he made it for me so that he could see how I responded to it and exposed me to the kind of work that I would have to do so you may also be given things like that um, I had a legal tech talk which was really really in interesting legal tech is really important at the moment as increasing especially within Eversheds in areas like corporate law and it is increasing in different practice groups as well. Next I had another virtual coffee with somebody else from the firm. I just loved every single virtual coffee. It was one of my favourite things was when I got to meet new people and talk to new people and hear about why they were at the firm and like their opinions about things like I did talk to them about things like legal tech and their opinion about how the firm had and real estate specifically had responded to the coronavirus pandemic and I spoke to a different person each day and every time I felt like I learned so much so again talk to as many people as you can it's really interesting I also did a research task and then on the evening we had a social with the partners which is a partner dinner where we were sent a voucher to have some food and kind of everyone was having take out at the same time whilst getting to ask questions in breakout rooms to different partners and that was so fun I think everyone like always chatted first of all about what food they were eating I had a curry for anyone who was wondering a really delicious curry and some people had things like kebabs and fish and chips and everyone had a little bit of something different and again we'd worked all day and this was about six o'clock and it was going on quite late so you had to eat like I couldn't sit there and not eat and this was the biggest curry I'd ever seen in my life so I was munching on that curry throughout the entire hour and a half call and afterwards and it was so nice to get to meet partners from different departments and hear about different departments because you are working within one and it is just an opportunity to hear about others so if you don't get a chance to organise calls with different departments like an opportunity like that is really amazing because you already have that time specifically so Thursday another departmental talk this time it was from the litigation team and then I completed um, my task that was due in that day from the grad recruitment team handed that in I had another virtual coffee I got some more work to do um, plenty of work to do on Thursday and then I also did the Instagram takeover over on the Eversheds Instagram where I answered a few questions on the afternoon which I really enjoyed and I also attended another kind of meeting where I just sat in and listened to the meeting this time it was a meeting where two members of the team were kind of explaining to a more gen junior member of the team about how to do something and that was really interesting for me to kind of sit sit in and listen to you because that is what you would kind of be having especially at, at the start but over time like every time you need to kind of be taught something new I could really see how they structure those kind of meetings and again I really enjoyed that and I was able to listen in and hear about some more land law like I do really enjoy land law and I kept hearing them mentioning things that I've learned about and hearing it in practice so if you can ask them if they don't already invite you to them definitely ask or could, is there any meetings that I could kind of sit in on just to listen to and hear hear more about the law um, and you can make notes and things and that I'm sure they would be really happy to kind of like let you sit on in on any meetings that they have. Friday my final day I finished off with a task from the partner and I also finished my final grab recruitment task. I heard um, from the marker about my previous grab recruitment task. I had another virtual coffee with a trainee from um, a different team so I could hear about a different team I was interested in and then we had our reflections. Friday was the most stressful day for me personally because the internet stopped working halfway through my reflections which was technically the um, inter final interview as I was talking about where the partner and your um, supervisor asks you questions about how the week went internet just went completely and we had to reschedule until the end of the day which was really I just felt very overwhelmed by that because my I didn't have any technical difficulties all week I was really lucky so I just felt like oh my gosh it's the last day and I can't I can't do our meetings so that was quite worrying but I did manage to sort it out after about an hour but we had a CSR activity with water aid 
Evershed's works with War Trade quite a lot. It's kind of like their charity partner. And we got to listen to a talk from them. And then we were split into groups with other vacation schemers. So I was with three other people from the week. And then we had two hours to kind of do a task for Water Aid and then present it back at the very end. So that was so, so fun because we got to work together and I got to chat to people even more because you do see these people throughout the whole week, the other vacation schemers, and then you finally get to sit down and talk with them and work them on a task. This task was not assessed. It was just for us to do something fun at the end of the week. We came up with an idea and then we presented it kind of like with a PowerPoint slide and then our group, this was with the Cambridge Vacation Schemers as well, our group actually ended up winning for the Birmingham Vacation Schemers. It was just kind of like a fun little thing where they chose who would win, the grab recruitment and the representative from Water Aid. They just chose what their favourite one was. Like we didn't win a prize or, you know, we weren't marked on it, but it was just really nice. And I think that was quite fun as well to kind of come away being like, oh, we won that activity. And it was really nice and that was kind of the last thing that we had all together and we kind of all said goodbye and thank you to the grab recruitment team it, i almost felt like quite emotional about it because the week had gone so quickly that i wished that i could have done even more but obviously i managed to pack as much in as i could um that week and then i finished off with my reflections with my supervisor and partner where I talked through my whole experience and asked them a couple of questions and that was kind of how I finished off the week and it was just so fun and enjoyable and I think there are times where you do feel really busy but it was also worth it and I've learned so much more about the firm and I've learned so much more about how work is within a law firm and how you apply what you've learned say at university within a law firm and it was just the absolute best best experience and i hope that this video has kind of shown you about what the experience will be like and what kind of things you might have to do whilst in your vacation scheme and of course if you have any questions then please drop me a message over on instagram or comment below but i just wanted to let you know about my experience and then the overall kind of tips and advice to finish off with that I have touched on throughout is of course to chat to as many people as you can, organise virtual coffees with as many people as you can, just send them a message whether depending on what system you're on, send them an email, send the message on Teams and just say are you free at any time, I'd love to set up a call and it's really easy to kind of navigate your way through so we had Outlook and Teams and it was really easy to kind of organise meetings with people um, if you do ask to have a meeting with someone and they say a certain time, say, great, I'll send you an invitation over and you send the um, invite yourself rather than waiting for them to do it. I think that's a really good piece of advice to kind of just show, be organised and, of course, be enthusiastic. Ask for more work if you have time for more work. Have fun and be yourself. You can't really pretend to be someone else that you're not throughout the whole week and it is a lot of early mornings and you're working really really hard so you can only be yourself I think as the week goes on you will probably get more tired so you do you just have to act as you always would just be yourself and you be professional but also ask people how they are always say hello ask people how they are because they're just another person everyone at Eversheds is so lovely and always ask you how your day is and always want to hear about you and kind of your background so of course ask them about theirs as well not just to make a good impression but for me I was genuinely interested I want to, wanted to know about these people and be able to chat to these people and in terms of preparation there's not loads and loads of preparation that you can do especially if you're in a position like me where you had no idea kind of what you're going into but if you've kept up with your commercial awareness, specifically in the area that you're going into, it just means that you'll be able to help help you ask more educated questions to people and also kind of find people on LinkedIn beforehand, message any trainees that you already know, for example, um, and ask them for a bit of advice. I found my trainee buddy and my supervisor on LinkedIn already, so I added them beforehand and kind of introduced myself, which I just think was quite nice and um just go over your firm research again if you have lots of firm research that's what i did so please give the video a thumbs up if you have found it useful 
let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in my next one. Bye!